You remember oh, this? Man, Katy Perry's okay. grand entrance into the Super Bowl on that lion. I mean, that was constructed here locally in Scappoose. And now the man behind it, Michael Curry, has entered into a new partnership with the Oregon Symphony. Mackenzie Roth, lucky enough to be in his Scappoo studio this morning to hear all about this new partnership. Mackenzie? Oh, is that you? The land of make believe. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like me. Um, welcome, Michael Curry. Thanks so much. We're here in his design studio and so much. We're making new friends, so much to look at. Michael, thanks for having us. So tell us about this partnership with the Oregon Symphony. It's part of a series called Sound Sight that okay. Cal Carlos Calmar uh, cooked up. And there's been three of them this year where they partner visual artists with symphonic music. Right. In our case, it's Stravinsky's Persephone, yes. the story of the, uh, the goddess Demeter and her daughter Persephone and her abduction into the underworld. So we have this fantastic journey from the above world to the underworld where it gets very spooky. Who and is this? This is Pluto. Okay, the, Pluto, nice the, to meet the you. The king of the underworld. <laughs> and we use an actor with a video projection face on this. And this is a giant puppet that stands 14 feet tall. and of course, uh, captures Persephone and interacts and is the lord of the underworld. Of the underworld. How do you even begin when you need to capture Pluto? How do you envision what he's going to look like? For me, I listen to the music. Right. When you're doing opera, when you're doing anything that's symphonic, the music should tell you, you should be supporting that music. So the simple answer is, I listen to the music, Pluto has a sound and his image came to me. Let's talk more about Persephone. I, we can look over here. Now there's a, uh, an actress that puts this on and then you also have this form, correct? correct? So we have, a, we have a dancer and we have a puppet. They look identical and we play with the metaphor of, of uh, the duality of uh, in the above world and the underworld there exists the dancer and then a puppet. The puppet is a Bunraku puppet so there's three black clad puppeteers who manipulate her and are fully in view of the audience uh, and they, wear, they look like black Greek statues and the dancer uh, also is without gravity and she makes certain choreographic movements that resemble that of a puppet so the audience will be tricked into this tricky world. What are some other things we can expect from Persephone? Um, we have three acts and one of them is puppetry, one of them is dance and the last one is final version is, is acting. Okay. Uh, we have a really fantastic ballet, we have a chorus of 70 uh, singers on stage. Oh we have the 80 person orchestra, over 170 people, including the puppeteers. So it's a big, lavish production. Uh, it's a new form for symphonic theater. My goal is to bring new audiences in with more layers of, uh, call it spectacle if you yes. want, but more layers of visual support for the music. And how do you decide which, what to take on? Which performance or, you know, which, which story you want to tell? Well, we're lucky enough to have choices these days, but right? my, my great love is storytelling uh, and then a way to make storytelling even stronger by theater, theatrical application. So um, I have an even blend between spectacles, Disney work like The Lion King, as you've said, the yes, Cirque du Soleil. Yes, you can see some of the puppets from The Lion King up uh, on the wall. Olympic opening ceremonies, but I also like small classical music and opera. So I've been focusing on that a great deal lately. Very cool. Lots of surprises coming. It, run, it starts on the 13th, correct? 13th yes, through the 15th, yes, yes. Oregon Symphony? Oregon Symphony. Persephone. Lots more magic, though, to explore. Would you mind if we stuck around for a little bit? Please. I know you have a big upcoming project, Michael, in the adjacent building. We'll head over there yes. and see what we can discover. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what amazing work, Mackenzie. We'll look forward to hearing more from you later in the hour.